Dr. Abhinash Naik. In this video, I am going to talk about how to design and develop a self instructional unit. First of all, let us discuss what are the principles that we should keep in mind while designing a self instructional unit. While designing a self instructional unit, first of all, we must know who is the target group. Who are the learners? Who are the people who are going to be benefited from these self instructional materials? The interests of the learners, the maturity level of the learners, the profile of the learners should be taken into account. Whatever activities, whatever contents, whatever procedures of study that we plan in the self instructional materials, they should be based upon the profile of the learners. The learners should be encouraged to reflect upon their experience in real life, relate their real life to the things that they learn during their course of study and they should always learn new things from the things that they are studying in the course materials. The assessment system in the self instruction materials, there should be more focus on self-evaluation than formal assessment of the learners. On the whole, we can say that the learners should be at the center of the self-instructional materials. Now let us discuss what are the different stages of designing and developing a self-instructional unit. First of all, beginning of a unit. Beginning of a unit is very important because it orients the learners towards using the materials in the right way. What do we have in the beginning of a unit? In the beginning of a unit, we have three components. One is the structure, then we have the introduction, and finally we have the objectives. Okay? Under the structure, what do we have? We have the topics, the subtopics, the sub subtopics, and they are presented in a very sequential manner. Then we have the introduction. Introduction is the gateway to the learners to the self instructional materials. Introduction tells the learners what they are supposed to learn during their study of the unit. Introduction mainly constitutes three parts. One is the thematic part, that is what theme the learners are going to read, going to cover during the unit. The structural part, in what way this unit is related to the previous units. And the third one is the guidance part, what the learners are expected to know, do before they study the unit. Then we have the objectives. Objectives given at the beginning of the unit, they tell the learners what they are expected to perform, what they are expected to bear at the end of studying the unit. We have the objectives in three different layers. One is the content part, what the learners are expected to learn after they study the unit. Then we have the behavior part, what kind of behavior they are expected to show after studying the unit. And the third, we have the level part, the standard part, what kind of level that the learners are going to achieve after studying the unit. Now this is the beginning of the unit. Now let us go to the middle of the unit. The middle of the self instruction unit is very very important because it is the body of the unit. The middle of the unit contains topics subtopics in a very systematic manner okay then we have the contents are organized in a very sequential manner they are organized from the known to unknown that means first of all the known topics are introduced then we lead the learners to unknown things from familiar to unfamiliar from simple to complex in this way we organize the contents in the self-learning materials then logical sequence there is a logical connection between the topics and the subtopics which we present in the unit the style 
the of the self instruction unit the writing style it should be a personal style it should be a conversational style learners when they read the material they should feel that a teacher is standing in front of them a teacher is talking to them and there is a direct communication between the learners and the teacher that's how they should feel now let us talk about language what kind of language the teachers or the tutors should be using while designing their self instruction unit the language should be very simple it should be very much conversational there should be a personal touch in the language the words used in the self instruction unit that should be very simple there should not be very lengthy sentences there, there should be more focus on simple sentences than complex sentences the sentences should be logically connected and as much as possible the teacher should use humor to keep the learners in right spirit because learning alone and in advance own is a very monotonous activity very boring activity if there is no humor the learners may feel very disconnected they feel that isolated so it is always important that we put some humor there then we have activities a lot of activities should be there because self instruction material they should be active they should involve different kinds of activities they should be involved doing activities they should be involved writing activities they should be involved thinking activities so that the learners are active throughout the materials and the self assessment questions should be there after the end of every session so the learners get a chance to assess themselves evaluate themselves at regular intervals and check their progress from to time to time there should be illustrations there should be tables there should be different kinds of examples whenever possible so that learners they don't need to refer to any other materials while reading the materials okay now let us go to the last part of the writing of a unit or designing of a self instructional unit in the last part as we all of us know we have a letter sum up or summary part where the teacher or the writer recapitulates or puts together all the important points covered in the unit then we have unit and exercises we also provide model answers to the questions on self check exercises which we cover during the unit we also give suggested reading to the learners so that if they feel at all they can also refer to such materials after they have read the unit on the whole writing of self instructional unit requires a lot of patience a lot of involvement because it centers around the learners the learners are at the center of the self instructional unit we must keep the learners in mind from the beginning to the end of a unit thank you very much